Hey Summit, this is Edward, and you know him, this is Jake. And, and just for the record, this is tailor-made golf hat. It's not a MAGA hat. I don't do politics. Ooh. Well, I do, but I'm I'm pretty center. But what if you're Nike? I'm pretty center like in my Nike politics. And you're tailor made, isn't yeah. that political? You know, it's funny. Sometimes I'll be out on the golf course wearing this hat, and people will be like, "Maga," and I'm like, "No, tailor made, tailor made golf." I need to get a different color. Yeah, you do. Hey, share this uh, video, would you? At, right, on all your platforms right now, just take a minute, share that. That way, we can get the information out and get these updates to as many people as we possibly can. Hey, I'm excited about this Sunday. And before Jake shares a little bit, I want to go back to last Sunday real quick and remind you not only. Uh, are we going to be talking about small groups this week, but you'll have a chance to sign up uh, for some service opportunities. And I mentioned two last week, I'm going to mention them again today, is our media and sound area. We're making all kinds of upgrades on that. Uh, lighting, sound, if some of you may have noticed, the volume of our music is not as sharp as it used to be because we're making upgrades to make that better and better each week. Our online volume, our online presence. And so you can have an opportunity to sign up for that ministry to put the word out and also for our security and safety team. Uh, I want to encourage you if you have a concealed carry license uh, and you want to be a part of that and can pass a background check, we'd love for you to sign up for that. There'll be a table for that along with medical. If you have a medical background, we'd love to have some folks on call for that in case we have a medical uh, uh, emergency or situation that goes on there. So uh, just a couple opportunities. And then Jake, you're talking about small groups and just how much we've learned over the last five months about small groups and the importance. Why don't you talk just real quick? Yeah. Uh, before I do that, also first impressions, I'm going to have a table set out yeah. so you can serve in first impressions. And then Paula Woodson, you know, I call her the glue, right? Oh, absolutely. The glue that holds absolutely. the staff and the church together. Yeah. So the glue is going to be looking for some facility volunteers. Yes. Okay, we've got a, you know, Lori does a great job cleaning the building, but from time to time we'll have like a plumbing issue or we'll have uh, something that needs to be nailed in a wall. And they're fixing and, to redo the yeah. preschool area too. Yeah, all painting, painting. And painting. All that. That's going to be and so, so cool. And so if you've, if you've ever wanted to volunteer and just kind of help out with that kind of stuff, she, she would love to have you. So we're going to be launching small groups. Uh, wow, what a season we're in with yeah. COVID and all that good stuff. And so, uh, I'm excited and frustrated at the same time. You ever been excited and frustrated at the same time? I have no idea what you're talking about. So our small group ministry, we have a lot of our groups that are really healthy and they grew a lot in the spring. And so they're, they're closing. And the, the reason they're doing that is because they, they're just busting out of the seams. And that's a good thing, yeah. right? That's a good thing. Those are good, healthy groups. But then the frustrated side is, is well, if those groups are closed, then we've got to have some avenues for people to connect. And so we do have some groups that are going to be open. Uh, some of these groups, be patient with us. Uh, they can only fit maybe two or three more couples. Some of the groups, like my group, Man, bring it. We're, we're open. <laughs> Come on. All right. And then I'm really excited about uh, Linda Villarreal. Man, she is an awesome, awesome lady. She's going to be hosting, and this is not a women's group. This is going to be open for couples and anybody. She's going to be hosting our online Zoom group. And oh, she cool. can take about 20 people uh, yeah. to make that work. And so that's going to be really cool. We've got a new women's group that's going to be started. Uh, Ashley's going to do an online Zoom women's group. Group. And so we've got these different, Alan Sanders is going to be doing a men's 33 group for our men. And so what we're finding out is, is during the season where we can't do child care, a lot of our women are connecting in women's groups and a lot of our men are connecting because if they have small children, they can kind of do their own thing. But if you want to do something as a couple, some of our groups are getting really creative mm -hmm. in, in, in doing some things where the children can be a part and things of that nature. And I'll share more about that Sunday. But here's what I want you to know. This Sunday, in person and online, you're going to have an opportunity to kind of peruse. You like that word, peruse? Uh, peruse our groups. And if for some reason you don't find a group that you feel like you can connect in, you need to email me. And I'm going to have a table set up, and I'm going to have a list set up. Because what I'm going to do at the end of the day, if all of our groups fill up, and, and there's some of you out there that haven't found a group yet, you're coming with me, man, and we're going to do something on Sundays 
to connect until I can build a group for you. That's pretty cool, right? That's, I love it. You like and, it? And we're going to do re-engage again, right? Re-engage uh, is going to be the best way that's a, for that's a couples marriage. to that's connect. That's a marriage deal. That's, that's a, a marriage deal. It's yeah. awesome. Um, Edward and I went through it. It's yeah. great. I mean, we're not Not married. together. Yeah, no, no, no. You know, no, no. Ashley and I, and yeah, Danielle, yeah, 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 yeah. So, but yeah. That was close. Well, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're going to have all kinds of stuff. And then we still have Celebrate Recovery that meets every Thursday. You can connect there. Uh, we have grief support. Uh, we just have a lot, our prayer team. Mm -hmm. uh, man, we've got a lot of different avenues and ways for you to connect. So join us Sunday, live in person or online. And then uh, I, I feel like next week's going to be a pretty busy week for me. I think so. You know, answering so. emails, talking to people, trying to I get everybody so. connected. I'm, I'm praying that's the case. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I ran into somebody yesterday. I was at a lunch meeting, and I are they okay? Came downstairs, not not run into, oh. them, but you know. Um, and we were talking, and they were talking about how much they've been watching us online, and the eleven o'clock didn't really work for them, but they didn't want to come to the nine o'clock because, you know, that was the at risk service, and uh, and he didn't want to take somebody's seat, oh. and so I told him there's plenty of room. Plenty and I know of good seats still available. And I would say that to you guys, there's plenty of room for you guys to like come going back. to a Mavericks game in the eighties. Uh, yeah, or the Dallas yeah. Cowboys coming yeah. up too, you know. So I, I want to encourage you, if you've been sitting out because you don't want to take somebody's seat, we have room, so come on. Uh, I also want to mention one thing, and then we'll take off and uh, get our day going, is um, I, I know a lot of you guys with small children, there's that kind of secure insecurity thing of bringing your kids and them making noises during the service and running around and that. That's family worship. Yeah, and, we love and, it. And I just want to tell you this, uh, from a pastor's perspective, a communicator's perspective. I think Jake also agrees with this since he and I are the main two communicators at Summit. It doesn't bother us. It doesn't bother us. And I know, I know, I've had, I've been a parent of small children in restaurants, Jake, and, and funerals and that kind of stuff, and they get a little noisy. It really affects me more than it does others. So I, I want to tell you, Please come, bring those kids. That's why we have those activity boxes. That's why we have those things going on. And I know you may say, well, I don't want to mess, disturb everybody else and that. Listen, that's why we call it family worship. So we want to invite you to be a part of that. And uh, we know some of you, it's easier to stay at home, watch it online, let your kids play. We get that. But we also want to tell you, it's not it's not something for us that bothers us. That's why we did family worship. Right. So we love you. We, um, uh, you said frustrated and excited, Jake. Um, All in the same. It, it, and I feel that tension every day. I'm frustrated and excited. Um, and I love what God's doing. I'm frustrated where we are, but I love what God's doing. But it just, it is what it is right now. And so we love you. We, we get where you are. Um, and uh, thank you for continuing to give us grace as we lead and try to make decisions and do our best to follow CDC and all this stuff. Uh, thank you. We love you. And uh, don't miss Sunday morning, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock. It's going to be phenomenal. Cannot wait to hear you, bro. I'm excited. Oh, well, and, I guess uh, I need to prepare something. Yeah, you probably need to write something. Uh, or you can just do what we normally do. I'll write your sermons and give them to you. So, yeah, hey, I love you, same Summit. Fee. Yeah, five same bucks. fee. Five bucks. We love you. We'll see you Sunday.